standard units of measuring lengths of objects. Part 1 Hello children, I am the parrot and I welcome you to this video. In this video, we will learn about some non-standard units to measure the length of objects by hand. Chotu and Pinky have to get their clothes stitched. That's why they have come to the tailor shop. Auntie, we have to get these clothes stitched for us. Okay kids, I will take your measurements now. Auntie takes Chotu's and Pinky's measurements by hand. And she is also measuring clothes using her handspan. Auntie, what are you doing with your hand? My dear, I am taking the measurements. Auntie, what is a measurement? Children, we measure to know the length of something. Auntie, how do we measure? Look Chotu, I took the measurement of the length of your shirt with my hand like this. One, two and three. Your shirt is three hand span long. Okay auntie, this is how things are measured. Auntie, what is a hand span? Pinky, the measurement which is taken by hand is called hand span. Okay auntie. Children, both of you can take measurements of some items kept here. Yes auntie. I will measure the length of this chair. One, two, three, four, five, five hand spans long. Very good, Chotu. Pinky, can you measure the length of this table and tell me? Yes, Auntie. One, two, three. Four, five, six. This table is six hand spans long. Yes, Pinky. Absolutely correct. So, did you see, children? To know the length of the object, we measure them. In this video, we measured objects using hand spans. Just like the width of this TV is one, two, three. Three hand spans wide. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned some non standard units to measure the length of objects by hand. In the next video, we will learn some non standard units of measuring the length of objects using our foot. Till then, bye bye, children. Units of Measuring the Length of Objects Part 2 Hello children, in the previous video we learned non-standard units to measure the length of the objects by hand. In this video we will learn non-standard units to measure the length of the objects using feet. Today Chotu thought why not help his mother in doing household chores. Chotu, do one thing. The rope we had tied to dry the clothes is broken. We have to tie a new rope. Can you go and get a new rope from the market? Okay, mummy. Chotu goes to the market to buy rope. But he remembers on the way that he does not know the length of the rope he has to buy. He comes back home again. I will do one thing. I will measure the distance between the two poles using my foot. According to the distance, I will bring the rope. Chotu began to count with his foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. These are a total of 13 foot spans. That means 
I need 13 foot long rope. Chotu, after measuring the distance with his foot, went to buy the rope and he came back home and got his clothes dried. So children, did you see how Chotu measured the rope using his foot? Do you know that we can measure other objects too with the foot? Just like this field. This field is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means 9 foot spans. So children, in this video we learn non-standard units to measure the length of the objects using feet. In the next video we will see some common mistakes that should be avoided while measuring the length of the objects. Till then, bye children! Common mistakes in measuring length of objects Part 1 Hello children, in the previous video we learned non-standard units to measure the length of objects using foot. In this video we will see common mistakes while measuring the length of objects that should be avoided. Today Chotu and Pinky's mother has brought a new blackboard for them. They are both making something with chalk on the blackboard and Pinky said to Chotu, Chotu, you can't make anything here. This is my space. No, Pinky, you have plenty of space. I will make it here. Seeing Chotu and Pinky arguing, their mother comes there. Chotu, Pinky, why don't you do one thing? You take a measure of your space. It will tell you if any of you has more space. Yes, Mummy. It is right. But how will we measure, Mummy? Do one thing. Bring that pencil from the table and measure the blackboard. Chotu gets the pencil from the table. Chotu, first keep the pencil at the starting point and see how many pencils are required to measure. Okay, Mummy. Chotu begins to measure the space with his pencil. One pencil. Two pencils. Three pencils. Hey, Chotu, you are doing it wrong. Why, Mummy? While measuring, the entire length has to be measured. No part should be missed. And you are leaving the space while placing the pencil. Oh, now I get it. I will measure it again. So here it is one pencil, two pencils, three pencils. Four pencils. This means I have a total of four pencil long space. Pinky, now it is your turn. I have one pencil, two pencils, three pencils, total three pencil long space. Children, do you think Pinky has properly measured her space? Yes, you thought right. Pinky has measured it correctly. This means Chotu's space is more than Pinky's space. Come on, let me share your space equally. Mother divided Chotu and Pinky's space equally between them. So children, did you see what mistake Chotu made? He left spaces between two pencils while taking measures with the pencil. That means Chotu did not measure the leftover space. So Chotu did not measure the entire length. We should measure without leaving any blank space while measuring. Today Chotu is measuring the length of the table at his home by his hand. 1, 2, 3, 4 Mummy, this table is 4 hand span long. 
Chotu, my dear, this table is very long. How did you measure it? Can you measure it again and show? Okay, mummy. One, two, three, four. It is done, mummy. Hey, Chotu, don't leave any space while measuring. Look at me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you see, Chotu? This table is eight hand span long while measuring with my hand. Now you two measure it. Sure, mummy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This table is ten hand span long when I measured it. Now you understood, Chotu. While measuring objects, we should not leave space between two hands. If we do not measure the entire length or miss any space in between, then the measurement will be wrong. Okay, mummy. This means that whenever a measurement is to be made, there should not be any space left between two measures. You are absolutely right, Chotu. So, children, did you see? You should not leave a space between two hand spans because that measurement might go wrong. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some common mistakes. in measuring the length of the objects in the next video we will see some more mistakes in measuring the length of the objects that should be avoided till then bye children mistakes in measuring length of objects part 2 hello children in the previous video we saw some common mistakes in measuring the length of the objects in this video we will see some other common mistakes in measuring the length of objects today in choto's class everyone was asked to bring Five hand span long ribbons. Chotu has also brought five hand span long ribbons by measuring with his hand. Neha, look at my ribbon. And here is my ribbon. Come on, children, match your ribbon with that of your friend sitting next to you. Do you both have the same length of ribbon? Teacher, I brought five hand span long ribbon. So did Neha. But my ribbon is shorter than Neha's ribbon. Chotu, do you know why this happened? Children, do you know why this happened? Come on, let us see. This happened because the size of each hand is different. Therefore, you should measure with such objects that have standard measurements, like. with a new pencil if all of us measure with a new pencil brought five pencil long ribbons then the length of the ribbon would be the same because the length of the new pencil is almost the same everywhere oh now i understood so did you see children all took a ribbon with a length of five hand span but they all had different sized hands and hence the length of the ribbons were also different so we should measure with objects which are of the same length everywhere so kids that was all for today in this video we learned about few more mistakes in measuring the length of the objects i hope you have understood this topic properly bye children